Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me, Laura, and in this video we're going to be having a look at Tunisian lace. So this is a little patch of Tunisian lace that I've worked and I'm just using a DK light worsted weight yarn, so it's a yarn weight of three. And with that I've actually gone with a five millimeter Tunisian crochet hook. Now I've got just a normal straight Tunisian crochet hook here and the reason I've opted for a slightly bigger size for the yarn is just to create a little bit extra drapes so sometimes if you're making something and it seems a little bit tight and rigid then just going up a hook size can make all the difference so we're gonna have a go and uh, show you how to work this so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring in another yarn here so this is the same yarn same weight yarn and we just need to work to units of four plus one Okay, so four times table today, units of four. So I'm just going to work some normal chains. So do a little slip knot. And it goes quite well with my hook actually. <laughs> and just work to units of four. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and four. And I'll do another four, five, six, seven, and eight. Do another four, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I'm actually going to stop there just for this demonstration. So I've just done three times four, which is twelve. And then once I've got my four times table, I just add one. So an extra one on the end. Okay, so for this one I've actually chained 13 in total, but for this one I did here, I chained uh, units of 4 to get to 20, and then did an extra one to get 21 to get this width. So, and what we're going to do is, the first thing we do is we're just going to work a normal Tunisian row. Now if you're completely brand new to Tunisian crochet, then do check out some of my more beginner videos for Tunisian crochet. I'll put the playlist link below. But what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into our second chain from our hook. So we don't count we don't count the loop on our hook. There's our first chain, there's our second chain. So I'm just going to put our hook into our second chain, bring the yarn through. But we don't do anything, we just keep it on our hook. I'm going to do that all the way across. So I'm going to go into the next chain, bring the yarn through and keep it on our hook. Okay? Do that all the way across into every chain. Put on our hook. Until we end up with, how many did we chain? We chained 13, so we should have 13 loops on our hook by the end of this row. So you chain the exact amount that you need. Okay, so I'm just going into each chain and bringing the yarn through. Till we get to the end. Okay, it's coming up to the last chain. And we chain 13, so we should have 13 loops on our hook. So we can just check 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Okay, so that's our first forward row on our Tunisian. And what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna do a little something different on the way back. Now normally, when we do Tunisian crochet on the reverse row, i.e. going back to the beginning, is we pull through one, the first loop, do a little chain one there, then we pull through two until we get to the end. But with Tunisian lace, we're gonna do something different. So at the very beginning, we're actually going to chain three. So we're going to pull through the first loop only. So yarn over pull through that first loop as normal then we're going to chain two on top of that so just grab the yarn and bring it through that first loop then grab the yarn and bring it through the first loop okay so you've technically chained three at the beginning then what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and pull through five loops so we're going to yarn over and pull through one two three four and five pulled through five loops okay all in one go and then we do a little chain one to secure that a little chain one okay 
Then we're going to chain three again, so it's just pulling for the first loop only three times. So yarn over, pull through once, first loop only, chain one again, pull for the first loop only, chain one, pull for the first loop only. Okay, so chain three, one, two, three. Then we pull through five, so we're going to yarn over and pull through the next five loops again. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we pulled through five loops. Then we secure that with a chain one. Okay, we're not including that with our chain three, that's a separate chain one to secure the little group. Okay, so and then you should have always have five loops at the end. We do the same thing again, we're going to chain three, so pull for the first loop only once, pull for the first loop only twice, pull for the first loop only three times. So we chain three, still got five loops left, we yarn over and pull through all those five loops. So pull through one, two, three, four and five. And again we're going to do a little chain one to secure that little set pull through that last loop. Okay, so that's our reverse row, just like that. Okay, so it looks a little bit different and a bit unusual. You've got these clumps in the middle. And now we're gonna work our next row. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna find that chain one stitch at the top of our little clump there. We're gonna put our hook into there, so it's just into that chain one that we made. Hook into there and bring the yarn through. We're keeping the yarn on our hook, okay? Then we're gonna put our hook into the three chains that we did in between. So we're gonna find this first chain. I tend to put it under two loops and keep the one loop at the bottom, but it should work however you do it. So just bring the yarn through that first chain, keep it on your hook, go into the second chain and bring the yarn through, keep it on your hook, yarn over into the third chain, keep it on your hook. Okay, then you want to find that chain at the top of this clump and put your hook into there and bring the yarn through and keep it on the hook. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way across. So find your next three chains and put your hook into them. So into the next chain, bring the yarn through. Next chain, bring the yarn through. Next chain, bring the yarn through. So it's one, two, three. Then find the chain at the top of the clump and put your hook into there and bring the yarn through there. Then you should have, when you get to the end, you should have just three chains. So we're going to put a hook into those three chains. So into the next chain, bring the yarn through. Next chain, bring the yarn through. And the very last chain, bring the yarn through. Okay, and if you want to check your stitch count at this point, so always check your stitch count on the forward row two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. So my stitch count is still 13. And then we do the same reverse row as we did last time. So when we start, we just chain three to begin. We're just working with this first chain. So we yarn over, pull for the first chain once. Yarn over, pull for that chain. Yarn over, pull for that first chain. Okay, so you chain three, one, two, three at the beginning. Then we yarn over and pull through five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And after we've done a little clump, we're going to secure with a chain one. So just yarn over, pull through that loop. That secures it. Then we chain three. Chain one, two, three. Then we yarn over, pull through five. So yarn over, pull through one, two, three, four, and five. Secure with a chain one. Chain three, one, two, three, and I'm near the end because I've got five loops left. Yarn over, pull through those five loops. So pull through one, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, and five. And then secure the clump with a chain one. Okay, and that's the end of your next reverse row. We just repeat that over and over again. So the next row, we start off with putting our hook into the top of the clump. So this chain we did at the beginning. Bring the yarn through, so that's at the top of this clump. Keep it on your hook. Then put your hook into the three chains. To that chain, keep the yarn. Into the next chain, keep the yarn. And into the next chain. Sorry if I sound a bit bunged up, by the way, I have really bad hay fever. <laughs> Okay, and then we put our hook into the top of the clump here in this little group, keep the yarn, and then we put our hook into the three chains. So that's one, two, and three. One, two, three. Then into the top of your clump. And at the end, you should have the three chains that you began with. So we put our hook into those three chains. One, two, and three. And there we go. Stitch count of 13 again. And then we do the same reverse rows. We chain three at the beginning. So one, two, three, to get those first three chains, then yarn over, pull through five. So one, two, three, four, five. Secure with a chain one, then chain three. So don't include that chain one as your chain three. One, two, three. You technically do four in total. Yarn over, pull through five, so one, two, three, four, five, secure with a chain one, then chain three, one, two, three, and yarn over, pull through all five, one, two, three, four, five, and secure with that last chain one. Don't forget that last chain one. And there we go, there is another reverse row, another set. So if you just keep re repeating those two rows over and over again, you will end up with something that looks like this. So just re repeating the pattern gets you something like this. And I'm going to turn this into a headband. You're going to see how it turns out. And uh, when I finish that, I will share the written pattern on my website, happybow.co.uk. So I hope it'll be a nice stretchy headband. It's a really good fabric actually for stretchiness. So it works really well for headbands. It's got a nice bit of elasticity. And there we go. So that's as simple as that. That's Tunisian lace. So hopefully you'll give that a try, see how you get along. And I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. And don't forget to join me on Instagram and tag me at Happy Berry Crochet because I love seeing your projects. And I look forward to speaking to you again soon or showing you some crochet again soon. <laughs> Bye.